Hi, hello and uh, welcome pro ITN. So I hope you guys are going along nicely, right? Uh, we have covered quite a bit on Azure, right? I mean, we, we started with the basics. We started with the um, discussion about com cloud computing, right? And then uh, in the last session, we discussed about um, how we can provision our Ubuntu server. And we also connected to the Ubuntu server using PuTTY on port 2222, right? Now, what next? What are we going to cover in this session, right? Uh, so in this session, we are going to look at provisioning Windows Server, right? Um, we, we are going to provision the Windows Server and also we are going to connect to the Windows Server using RDP, all right? Remember guys, so Linux-based machine, the way it connects is different and the way Windows Servers connect is different. Right, Linux machines we connect on port 22, whereas on Windows machine we connect on port 3389. The tool which we use for connecting Linux is, uh, I mean, SSH based tool uh, that is PuTTY, and for Windows it is RDP. Right, great. Now let's jump into the session and we'll see how we can actually provision Windows Server. Right, great. Thank you. Welcome back to ITN. So, in the earlier session, we saw how we can provision a Ubuntu server in uh, Azure, and we also had a session by which we saw how we can connect uh, to Ubuntu server on SSH port, that is port 22, using PuTTY. Right? Great. Now, um, in this session, we are going to look at how we're going to install Windows uh, VM on on Azure, and also how we're going to connect to that um, Windows Server. Okay, great. Now, uh, for creating a VM, right? What I can do is I can click out here, a create a resource, or I can click on Virtual Machine, right? So, I'll, I've clicked on Virtual Machine, and then I can click on Add. So, this is a different method which I am actually uh, showing you. It actually goes to the same place, and uh, you can actually. Uh, configure the virtual machine as per your requirement okay great so yes subscription is free trial that is uh, what we saw last time also right i mean i'm still running on a free trial my um, current charges are about uh, 13283 which is left out uh, right so that is um, earlier it was 13300 when i created the free account so i've incurred about uh, 17 or 16 rupees uh, of that uh, free limit yeah all right so we we are running on a free trial and resource group uh, is the same one which we're going to use that is pro it rg1 right and uh, let's give it a virtual machine name so it's going to be win sorry uh, it's going to be web server 02 because we have already created 01 and that was ubuntu server so this time we're going to create a web server 02 that will be windows server okay Region we leave it as it is, yeah, and the availability options also we are going to leave it as it is. Uh, we are not actually uh, working on um, the availability zone or availability set yet, but yeah, I mean, uh, in the future sessions we can modify it. So for now, uh, we are going to leave it as it is, right? So, image is a place where we want to use Windows Server, so we'll use Windows Server 2016. Okay, and then um, I'll be provided with the option for the hardware, right? Um, yes, yeah, spot instance. We discussed about the spot instance in the last session, right? So we are, we are going to select as no, and yes, hardware. Uh, we'll use the free tier eligible hardware. There is uh, one virtual CPU and one uh, GB of RAM. Um, with that uh, machine, I I mean, there will be very less cost uh, incurred to my free account, and that is good for uh, training purpose. Right? We don't want to use this virtual machine for any testing or any development uh, work, right? It's just for the training purpose. So we are good with that. All right. Now we'll have to give an admin name for this account, right? So 
we'll use the same admin name pro it admin right and then we are going to give the password uh, you can choose your password as you want uh, give me one moment all right and yeah we have to retype the password all right selected ports so when we configured for Ubuntu, we had uh, automatically it got selected as uh, SSH port 22, right? Now for uh, Windows, Windows works on port, uh, RDP port works on 3389. So if you want to work the server, connect to the servers remotely, then we need to make sure that port 3389 is open, right? So we are good with this time. We'll move to the next one that is uh, disks. Yeah, and then it asks me to save the password so I can click on save, right? On the disks, so we have those options, right? Standard um, HDD, standard SSD, premium SSD. Uh, we are good with a premium SSD. Uh, leave it as it is. Encryption default. Uh, we don't want to make any changes as of now. And yes, we had seen this last time also that if you want to add a disk, uh, you create a disk and attach a new disk but uh, we are fine with the default one which we get about 30 GB all right and then we'll move to the next that is on the networking tab right so so this is the place where we are going to configure our uh, vnets subnets and public IP right so we have already configured the vnet in the last session right so we are going to use the same vnet which has the um, network address of 10.0.0.0 slash 16 Right. And then we are going to use the same subnet which has the network address of uh, 10.0.1.0 slash 24, right? Okay, great. And then uh, public IP, uh, yes, we want to connect the server uh, remotely, so we do need a public IP. And rest of the things, we will leave it as default. Uh, we don't want to change anything as of now. I will click on next. Management. Management also, we are going to leave it as default, right? We don't want to make any changes out here, so we're going to leave it as default. Yeah, the advanced, uh, I, I'll leave it as default. I mean, we don't want to make any changes out here. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we'll leave it as default, and then we'll move to the next one is tags. Yeah. We're going to add a name tag. And give the name as web server um, 02, right? Then we are going to add uh, another tag by name as tag, and we are going to give as uh, part of project work. So now we have created the tag, and we know what is the real purpose of uh, creating a tag. So, yeah, uh, we are good with that, and then we can click on next one. So next is the final page where it's going to, um, I mean, show us the summary of the configuration. Um, let's quickly run through the summary of this configuration. So it is saying that it is going to cost about um, about an, a rupee for an hour. Yeah, um, we are good with it, and then we can click on uh, uh, the other part. Uh, we can check out on the other part that is basics we are good with it because uh, resource groups are rg1 server 2 region is good size is good and yep rdp port is enabled we can quickly move the disks part check out out there if everything is fine then we can move to the networking part yeah it's all in the right uh, vnet and the uh, right subnet yes all good there and then management and uh, advanced uh, all right now we're good and we are ready to click on create so with the with clicking on create it will now start provisioning the machine okay so now it will actually start configuring uh, uh, the resources uh, that are, that is going to be utilized for the uh, machine that is virtual cpu virtual uh, ram uh, virtual big card so all those things are uh, will actually get started right so as you can see in the notification I immediately get the notification that um, initially it showed that initialization is in progress 
not issuing its deployment is in progress, right? All right, so as I'll close this window out here, and as you can see, um, the the network is. Um, give me one moment. I'll maximize this part. So net, network interfaces are created for that server that will be utilized for this server. Uh, virtual machine is created now. Uh, your deployment is underway because it actually is still working on the other pieces of the deployment, right? It is. Uh, like configuring the uh, the other parts, it's going to add the server into that energy that is the network security group. So network security group is like a type of a firewall uh, which you have on your uh, on your workstation, and same sort of firewall you can have it on your um, server. So energy in uh, in Azure terms is your network security group. So it's it's nothing more than like a firewall which uh, actually helps in restricting the traffic coming in and out of the virtual machine. So it has it will create the inbound and outbound rule that will be required. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Um, so every every virtual machine will have its own energy. Okay. So it's like a firewall, yes. And also every VNAT uh, and some NAT will have their own energy sort of thing. Yeah. We're going to look, look all these things in future in detail, yeah. But uh, we are we're covering only the deployment part uh, in this session, and gradually we're going to cover the more advanced parts. All right. So our deployment is done, and our uh, virtual machine is ready. So I can click on Go to Resource. As you can see, Web Server Zero Two is up. All right. It's clicking. Uh, it's showing as running. It's in uh, East US location. Free trial, yes, and uh, tags are two web server zero two and project work. Okay. And we are fine with the uh, uh, the hardware configuration and the public IP is also assigned to the server. Okay, sounds good. All right, um, all these things looks good. The virtual machine looks good. Uh, network interfaces up and running, all good, right. All right. Uh, now my virtual machine is up, correct? Uh, it's running, um, and we have this public IP address, right? Uh, let me go ahead and restart this virtual machine. Okay. Uh, so I'll click on restart, and then I click on yes, and uh, you can see how much time it takes for a virtual machine to restart. Okay. So within few seconds, I'll get the notification that the virtual machine has restarted. Right successfully restarted virtual machine okay so it took about uh, 10 seconds maybe yeah and um, so I am good and I can close this out right so now um, machine is restarted so I'm ready to click on connect and then I can actually click on RDP okay so I can go ahead and click on download RDP okay so I've got it out here. I can click on save. Okay, so RDP is now downloaded. Okay, so I'll double click on this file, and as you can see, I get uh, click on connect. So immediately, I got the option um, for the username. But if you want, I mean, uh, what you can do is actually, if you, you're not getting this option, then what you can do is you can click on more choice and then uh, use a different account. And then you have to give dot backslash pro IT admin because this is the account that we used when we created the uh, virtual machine, right? And then we have to give the password. Okay. And then I can click on OK. Yeah. So as you can see, um, so as you can see, my server is up and running now, and uh, that's the public IP that is uh, uh, that was actually provided to the server. Uh, yeah, and you can click on yes. All right. 
Here uh, we got the server manager dashboard. Uh, yes, it is Windows 2016 server, but it doesn't change actually. The the concept of deploying any Windows based virtual machine will not change. It is going to remain the same as we have it for uh, uh, as we had seen for Windows 2016. It's going to be the same for Windows 2012 or Windows 2019. Yeah. Okay, um, I think I think we have uh, covered quite a bit out here, and we are um, done with the session uh, where we saw how we can um, provision a Windows-based VM on Azure, and then we also saw how we can remotely connect to a uh, Windows virtual machine. All right, great. Um, okay, uh, I would request you to please click on the subscribe icon if you're liking these videos and then I click on the bell icon for you to get notified as soon as the videos are getting uploaded usually I'm uploading about a day uh, uh, one or two videos in a day so it's better that you um, get uh, real-time updates and you follow the class uh, accordingly um, so that we, we are uh, on the right pace uh, and learning at the right things uh, yeah great uh, until next time keep watching and keep learning thank you